Hey what's up everybody welcome back to a brand new video so a couple of videos back i talked about the one ui4 on s20 fe 5g and how stable it is and if you want to watch it here is a card to that video just in case and now in this one well let me show you all the customization and dex features that you get with the one ui depending upon your device and if you have an s20 fe 5g then obviously you will get all of these so before we start make sure you tap on that subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't already it will keep you posted with all the latest videos from the channel and just in case you wish to watch this video in hindi language here is a card to the bit tech hindi channel let me start off with the customization part first and by default you get a bunch of new features with one ui4 including the color palette and you can choose your favorite color and all that but you can make the most of your one ui with a good lock module that not only allows you to customize a lot of things that you will not be able to do otherwise but you can also have a bunch of options for example in dex to have a better user experience now let's talk about the customization part first that everyone loves to start with we have a lot of modules available inside good lock and i'll try to go through most of these let me start off with the theme park module first and this is a really interesting module as the name states you can make your own custom theme with this one simply tap on this create new button and you can choose anything from your go to wallpaper to main color and style and it will show you the preview of every screen with all the changes it is doing you can even choose your custom icon packs now without the need of any launcher as such and that makes it super useful just in case you want a ui something like that on a pixel or whatever it will do the job for you i think it is a really neat feature to have and after all this you can just save your theme right away to use later you can also tweak the keyboard with custom themes and colors and even the key styles to choose from similarly you can create themes for quick panel volume panel or just use an icon pack from the play store if that is what you want to do the possibilities here are endless so feel free to explore this module if you want to know more next up in the list is home up well played samsung and here you can customize the home screen and its elements like you can control how the task manager looks and you have like five options to choose from which is something i love using and in case your hands are tiny you have the mini mode for better reachability and this is just one thing you have control over your apps menu the background blur color and so much more just by using this module moving to the next module and that is called wonderland and with this one you can basically create your own moving wallpaper like i have here and it looks really cool though it might drain some battery but yeah i don't care much about the slight drain you get a bunch of options to choose from which look quite nice and different just like wallpapers on the pixel phones in fact i also made one myself and i think it looks pretty nice especially while charging you can play around with effects and all and get a good end result so this is also a good module to play around with Next up we have the keyboard cafe module and here you can play around with the features and create your own custom keyboard just in case you want to and i was quite amazed to see the number of customizations that you can choose here from key colors to various effects when you type to even the sound that the keys make you can control every single thing here and this is just next level customization that samsung has provided with this module to one ui users So now it's up to you whatever you want your keyboard to look like. Next up we have this sound assistant module and as the name says you can control a lot of things related to music and volume. So here we can basically control the volume panel and this is really helpful in case you have small hands and have reachability issues. So you can basically slide the volume panel wherever you want. And this is quite useful and gives a lot more options like equalizer right into the volume panel. and makes it quite easier to tweak the music you are listening to now one more neat feature that we get here is the per app volume control and this is something i really love so you can choose which apps you want to control from volume panel and you can control the volume output on a per application basis without affecting your device volume here as you can see volume on the spotify is being reduced or increased and similarly on youtube and rest of the applications are unaffected and have the same volume as that of system and i find this feature really useful you also get some other features with this like you can control music with volume keys create custom vibration patterns and a lot more with the 100 operation plus module 
you can add gesture handles and shortcuts to the left or right side of your screen, which makes the phone easier to be controlled with one hand. And this module will give a lot of control over the one-handed usage in short. Coming to some other modules now, and here we have the Lock Star, Quick Star, Nav Star, Noti Star, and Multi Star. Phew, that were a lot of stars. First up, the Nav Star, and as the name says, it's all. With the Nav Star module, you can control nav buttons and gestures, and you can choose between a lot of various nav bar options, which look nice and different overall. And you can even control gesture sensitivity and the width of gesture bar, which is very helpful for a full screen experience. Lock star, as you might have guessed, can be used to customize the lock screen, and you get a lot of options here, like controlling the widgets, clock position, and whatnot. And you can literally control each and every element on the lock screen. And even the number of clock faces that you get here is a lot, to put in simple words. Next one that we have here is Quick Star. And this one can be used to control the quick settings panel. I like the simple yet informative meaning here. So you can basically stylize the entire quick settings panel as per your taste. And you can either make a theme or choose from the available options. Or you can just choose which icons you want in the status bar or that AM PM indicator in clock. Speaking about clock, in case you don't like the clock face, there is also a module for that as well. Like really, you can make your own clock face and apply it to your always on display or lock screen. And again, the possibilities here are endless. Even I barely know about all this in past. Now the second last application that we have here is Noti Star, which can be used to manage notifications. And in addition to this, you can search for your delivered notifications or categorize them as you like. All of these notifications are always there before you delete them. Though I don't use this module often, but it's good to have something for notifications as well. And this might make it a bit easier in case your phone gets a ton of notifications like mine. Lastly, we have the Routine Plus application, which works with Bixby to add some additional options to your routines. Like you can use your fingerprint scanner to open a website or whatever you like. Or maybe start a series of actions, I don't know. Lastly, we have the Routine Plus application which works with Bixby to add some additional options to your routines. Like you can use your fingerprint scanner to open a website or application, whatever you like. Or maybe start a series of actions, I don't know. Like I see a ton of use cases of these applications or modules and I think you should definitely give these a shot. Now talking about the Samsung DeX feature. So to be very honest, I find the DeX feature to be great and useful as it can give you a PC-like experience only by using your device and it works flawlessly even on the One UI 4. I like the fact that the UI is quite refined for the end user and it can act like a mini workstation in case of an emergency, which is always a good thing to have. Now to make this text feature even useful, we have this multi-star GoodLock module. And this can basically be installed in GoodLock application on supported Samsung devices. So after installing it, you will see this I love Samsung text option. And here you can enable high resolution mode that will improve the quality of output on the bigger display. You can enable this second toggle to run up to 5 applications at once, which makes the Samsung DeX even more useful feature to have and multitask throughout. And lastly, we have the auto open last app feature and this will basically open the last application on your DeX setup whenever you start or close the DeX mode on your device. So all this adds up in providing a seamless user experience with One UI 4 on the Samsung DeX. Apart from this, you can enable quick launch of multi-window, enable multi-focus for unused applications, and can even have immersive mode while using the split screen feature, which can give you some extra area to work with. And in short, you can control a lot of things if you use pop-up windows or split screen feature on your Samsung phones. And you can take your multitasking to next level with this good luck module. So that's pretty much it for this ultimate One UI customization guide that you can follow on most Samsung phones. And if you end up liking this video, please make sure you press the thumbs up button and do press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.